hello everyone welcome back to my channel i'm martine and i'll be doing a reading for the collective today which will be titled what spirit wants you to know so this is going to be a collective general reading you may not resonate with every single message um, that comes through so take what resonates and leave the rest never force a message um you know to be yours if it doesn't resonate that means that it's just not for you okay so we're gonna start off with the energy oracle and find out a few general themes of this week and to let us know as a collective what our angels and guides want us to know All right, a lot of chakras. So we have the fifth chakra from Archangel Gabriel. The fifth chakra is the throat chakra. Um, so there is an energy of communication. First of all, working on our fifth chakra, our throat chakra, um, that communicate that this that is the chakra of communication. That is the chakra of speaking, of speaking up for yourself, speaking your truth, communicating in a way that is healthy, uh, that is healthy for you and the other person that you are communicating to or with communicating in a way that is expansive that is just really powerful using your communication um in a good way okay it's all about speaking your truth letting people know how you feel um being honest with yourself and with others and just really being all about effective and healthy communication. All right, and then and we have the walking away card. The walking away card really talks about walking away from things that don't serve you anymore, that are not good for you, that are not healthy, that are not conducive to the way you want to live the way you want to live your lifestyle um it's just when you walk when you take a position of walking away it is really a self-love practice as well because you're walking away from things that are no longer good for you which means that you hold yourself in the very highest regard if you stick or when you find yourself sticking around for things that no longer feel good um you're not really honoring yourself you're not really loving yourself so when you walk away when you say hey uh, you know this no longer feels good for me um this isn't right for me this isn't healthy this is whatever it is whether it's abusive or just you just don't like the way it makes you feel when you decide to walk away from that, that is, again, part of you loving yourself, you becoming, you honoring yourself much more. So if there are things that are going on right now that you're having a hard time walking away from, spirit is letting us know that it is, you need to walk away because you need to love yourself a lot more than than you've been loving yourself um, recently show more self-love for yourself honor yourself more respect yourself more you are worth more than 
you know, than that. Okay, walk away from things that no longer serve. And then we have the, the seventh chakra with Archangel Uriel, which is the crown chakra. The crown chakra is being illuminated for us right now because a lot of us are are like gaining new wisdom, um, really connected with our higher selves, really um, starting to be more connected with our angels and our spirit guides, getting downloads. And that all comes through the crown chakra. So if you, um, you know, following your intuition, if you get a download, you get a, a spark of an idea and that that's coming from your angels, your guardian angels, or your spirit guides, downloads, giving you um, inspired action, you know, ideas to move forward in. And so, and also if you're, you're an intuitive, your crown chakra is very important. Like if you're a psychic medium and a uh, channel, your crown chakra is very important because you need to keep that balanced. Um, you need to be aware of your crown chakra when um, it's open or when it's not, or, you know, being very mindful of your crown chakra, because that's where all the information comes in from spirit, from the spirit realm. And actually, whether you're an intuitive or not, that is where we get our wisdom. That is where we get our downloads. That is where we, our higher self connects with us. So crown chakra work is very important. Okay. So let's pull some more and see what spirit wants us to know. Two more energy cards. Okay. Journey. Okay. The journey card. So the journey card talks about being on a journey, <laughs> but not so, not just that, not just being on a journey, but being on a journey that where, you know, as you can see here, this, this woman has a lot of stuff with her, a lot of baggage. And I personally think it would suit her to have a little not so much you know what i mean and so but it looks like she's trying to navigate her journey and bring her all her stuff with her and she's not sure which direction she's going in you know there's a bunch of different signs here and she has all this bag and then she's holding this light so you know spirit is telling us to that we're all navigating our own journeys individually Okay. And a lot of times we, you know, even though we're all connected, we know that we're all connected here as a collective consciousness. At the same time, we're here to navigate individual journeys. So Spirit is telling us to really embrace that, embrace the fact that we are individuals navigating our own journeys but we are also part of a collective consciousness as well. So what I do or what you do affects and the vibration of others around you as well. Okay, so what we do in our in individual journeys affects us in the collective, all right? And that's, and that's the real message here is that- um, to remember that we're all on individual journeys, yes, but our indiv individual journeys affect the collective as well. It either can, depending on what you're doing, what, what your frequency is, um, it could either raise the vibration or it can lower it. But, you know, we're all here to raise the vibration of, of this earth and move it into a 5D. So, you know, just keep that in mind. You know what I mean? Our journeys affect the collective as well. So let's get one more. Oh, let's get one more message. And then I'm going to move on to the tarot. Let's get one more oracle, please. 
hostilities. All right. So some of us might be facing some hostilities right now. Some of us might be um, around in a hostile environment, might be going through um, some anger, some rage issues that are around us or that we're experiencing ourselves. Um, but there is some hostile energies, you know, around and you can and you can feel that in you know, in the collective, you know, as to what's going on, um, you know, politically, there's a lot of hostilities around us and, um, our political environment is very, very hostile. So I feel like spirit is, is really letting us know that the hostilities are really are part of the journey. Hostilities are dealing with um, things that make us uncomfortable or dealing with people or situations or things that make us uncomfortable is part of our journey here, okay? Individually and collectively. And what we can do is walk away from things that don't serve us, that don't resonate with us. Okay. That's one thing that we can do, you know, and another thing that we can do is speak our truth, speak up, speak up for ourselves. Okay. And activate your throat chakra and just communicate and speak up and be a voice, have a voice, use your voice for, um, for good, for, um, you know, for whatever it is that you're speaking up about. And again, like I said, walking away is, uh, is part is a act of self love. When you walk away from things that don't serve, you are showing people how to love you, how to treat you. You're letting people know that I, I regard, I hold myself in a high regard. So I'm going to walk away from toxicity, from negativity, from things that don't resonate with me anymore, because I hold myself in a very high regard. And also the seventh chakra is connecting to your intuition, connecting to that inner guidance that we all have, connecting to your higher self and allowing yourself to be guided by your higher self, be allowing yourself to be guided by the divine, really. And um, yeah, so those are the general messages that spirit wants us to know for this week. And then now I'm going to move on to some tarot messages. I'm going to keep these cards here because I feel like there's going to be some supporting messages from the tarot that we're really going to get into for this week. I hope everyone is doing well. Um, when I'm recording this is Sunday, so tomorrow's the 4th of July and I hope everybody has enjoys themselves and has a good time safely. All right, Spirit, what do you want us to know? What are some supporting messages? Okay, that definitely flew out. Ooh, yes, yeah, beautiful. Um, what are some, some supporting messages? What more do you want us to know? Okay, so, so first we have the sun that came out. That was the first card that popped out. And this talks about joy, illumination, healing, inner child healing, um, love and light, being joyous, being just happy, everything coming together 
for for us as a collective there are going to be some challenges you know um five of wands and seven of swords there's definitely going to be some challenges people are going to be misrepresenting themselves to us um but i feel like as long as we stay in this vibration in this energy and you know vibrate as high um, as we possibly can. I mean, I know every day is not going to be a high vibrational day. There are days where you're just going to have to, you know, our moods fluctuate, you know, some days I wake up and I'm ready to take on the world and I'm feeling great. And, you know, I'm, I do everything that I set out to do that day, my work, um, my content, creating content, you know, doing things, um, things that I want to do for my kids or my husband or the house or whatever the case may be. And then there are other days that I'm just like, I don't want to get out of this bed. You know, I need rest. I need relaxation. I need space, you know, so there are going to be days where the, your energy fluctuates. It's going to be a challenge. You're going to have people in your ear, um, talking about you or trying to bring you down, you know, there's going to be deception being presented to you, like, you know, the, the media politics, stuff like that. But there's also going to be opportunities as well. Okay. There's, there wants us to know that there's opportunities out there for us. Um, even though we're in a time of uncertainty, even though that we're in a time where we, f we're feeling like, um, things are just blowing up in our faces and, um, but there's also opportunity out there for you if you are seeking it. Okay. Where, where there's darkness, there's always light. There cannot be light without darkness and there can't be darkness without light. Okay. Um, some of us need to just take action. A lot of us have not been doing that. A lot of us have been, you know, sitting on our asses and not doing the things that we uh, need to do to move forward. So the King of Wands in the reverse is telling us that we need to take inspired action. We need to boss up out here. All right. And we need to stay high vibrational and, um, not ignore what's going on around us, but use what, what you know to be true for yourself and use that to empower yourself. When you see what, when you see the truth about things and when you see the truth about society and politicians and, and things of that nature, then you know, then you know how to move, you know, where you stand. You know what I mean? So use that, use what's going on right now or use whatever it is that's going on around you to empower yourself, okay? And to educate yourself. Let's get some clarifiers. Let's clarify this five of wands and the seven of swords because, okay, yeah. Knight of Pentacles and the five of wands right a lot of us are feeling left out are feeling like um a lack there is a very very deep deep sense of lack in the collective right now okay and people and you can see it you can see it um if you watch the news you can see how people are just the, the the crime rate has increased so much, you know, during this pandemic is because people are not getting what they need. People are not feeling, you know, feeling good about themselves. And people, and when people don't have what they need in order to survive, then, you know, then the crime rate increases, then things start happening, you know, robberies and what, whatever the case may be, then there's going to be a lot of illegal activity that's going to affect us, um, as a collective. Um, but, you know, spirit is also saying, um, this can be remedied if we take our time and plant the seeds that, you know, slow and steady wins the race. This is fixable. 
you know, the, the slack mentality that is um, overshadowing in our collective in our collective is fixable if we plant seeds, if we do the work, if we take our time, if we get, if people get the things that they need, you know what I'm saying? If people get access to the resources that they need in order to live their lives, we can move past this lack, okay? I want to clarify the King of Wands too, because a lot of us are not taking action, you know, King of Cups. A lot of us are not taking action, you know, the King of Wands in reverse here, but then we have the King of Cups where, um, you know, there's a need to be more emotionally intelligent, you know what I mean? And there's a need for people to wake up more and to wake up and see what is happening around them. Do you know what I mean? Pay attention to, to what is happening in your community, what is happening around you. Pay attention to the shifts, okay? And there's a, a real need for um, heart connection. You know, there is a real need for people to really connect with their hearts and instead of going to your mind and going outside of yourself to get what you need, there is a real need for people to sit with themselves and become more emotionally intelligent um, when it comes to seeing what's going on around you. You know, um, yeah, there's definitely a need um, for more emotional intelligence, more connecting with your emotions, more connecting with your heart space rather than your mind, okay? And I feel like the collective, that is a constant struggle for everyone, is because we were taught, we were all raised to um, go outside of ourselves for the things that we need. And really, Internally, we have all the inner guidance that we that we need. It all comes from our heart. It all comes from inside. But we are raised to go outside of ourselves to get the, the things that we need when everything we need is within us. You know what I mean? In terms of personal development, in terms of spiritual development. This is what I'm talking about. All right. And we have the judgment on the bottom. You know, this is a real time for for everyone, um, a time of rebirth, a time of renewal, a time of taking, hearing the call and taking the call, <laughs> heeding that call and doing what it is that you are, you're set, you were sent here to do. A lot of us, um, you know, during this pandemic, this time of pandemic, um, for the past two years, going on three years, a lot have, of people have been, you know, hearing their judgment call, you know what I'm saying? And stepping into purpose, stepping into mission, stepping into what it is that, you know, they were meant to do. A lot of people started their own businesses because they lost their jobs. And guess what? Now their business has flourished. And a lot of people have not gone back to corporate America because they found, they have found their purpose and they have found other ways to make money. So spirit is telling us to really step into purpose. If you're getting a call, um, if you're getting a yearning, a desire to really focus on what it is that you've come here to do, take heed to that call. Don't ignore it, okay? I'm not saying go quit your job or anything like that, but take the steps in order to get you closer to your purpose and on your soul's path, all right? A lot of us are moving, a lot of us are moving forward, moving out of drama, moving out of choppy waters and into more calmer waters mentally and emotionally and spiritually. And that's all part of, stepping into your purpose, following your heart's desire, taking heed to that call from spirit. 
all right a lot of us are coming into new belief systems new ideas aha moments getting gaining a lot of clarity okay that's what i see the collective is like gaining a lot of cl clarity and taking off those rose colored glasses and really seeing things for what they are collectively and individually in your life too okay high priestess following your intuition um they a lot of people have been spiritually waking up and um that is not a mistake that that is how this time is designed because we're going through so much turmoil and so much drama collectively the the you know we have to wake up you know there has been like a mass awakening okay of people waking up and especially um light workers and people who are intuitive you know there have been a lot of people coming into their spiritual gifts during this time and it's still happening it's still happening so the high priestess talks about um moving in silence you know what i mean the high priestess is um she moves between realms she's of the you know she moves in the in the physical realm but then she also moves in the spiritual realm as well the high priestess is a light worker she's an intuitive she's a mystic so if you're resonating with this message a lot of you are coming into your gifts too as well and spirit is saying that that's going to happen and that's okay that is all done by design all right so i'm gonna pull a last message and um i think i'm gonna pull a chakra card to see which chakra we can focus on which chakra spirit would like for the collective right now to focus on okay peace is the message and i'm gonna tell you one moment what that chakra is because i feel like it might be the crown chakra perfect yeah we had this message from archangel uriel as well the crown chakra so this is definite confirmation that we need to be working on our crown chakras okay you have been called upon this card today to remind you that peace is available to you in each moment peace lives within you and surrounds you at all times and you are encouraged to connect with the very powerful healing vibration of your soul and the universe your life may have been feeling out of control and full of stress as of late and it's time to stop for a moment and recognize and deeply connect to the peace that lies within you oh my god so much confirmation here you may feel the urge to meditate or simply go somewhere in nature where you are able to sit by yourself to feel the peaceful energy that is being offered to you at this time when you can stop and connect with this energy it will invoke a deep process of cleansing and renewal which will make you feel lighter clearer and more energized sitting with the peacefulness of your being will bring about deep healing on many many levels we are all striving to find peace in the world and we don't realize that all the striving actually stops us from truly being in the energy of peace it is now time to stop and be in the peace that resonates in every cell of your being if you have asked a specific question this card is a sign that peace is present and is the answer feel the peace in your soul and bathe in its magical essence the affirmation here is peace exists in each moment and within every cell of my being peace exists in each moment and every and within every cell of my being all right guys that's the reading that i have for you today what spirit wants us to know as a collective i hope that some of the messages resonated here with you if you want to reach me for a personal reading you can do so at martinefelton.com 
All the information will be in the description box. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. And I will see you next time. Take care.